What's up everybody? My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic and the fun thing that we're jumping into today is we are playing Iron Crag Red, Iron Crag Draku set. So basically Iron Crag Feet, 4 cover mana costs, 1 and 3 red. So we have to be really heavy in red. We are mono red because of that. Uh, whenever, So whenever you cast it, you add 7 red mana you can cast only one more spell this turn so pay for get seven mana pretty good pretty good uh deal there you can only cast one more spell which we are going to want to cast something big so we have draku seth in here we have chandra uh sarkin or sundering sundering stroke those are kind of our main things that we're trying to hit just to get out a little bit early even if it is sarkin only one mana more we, we are hoping to get something else uh but it is still worthwhile to get sarkin out early uh especially against some aggro decks where you can get out a dragon make it difficult for them to swing in because of the because of the static ability of them doing damage for every dragon that you have or just getting out a draku seth which whenever it attacks it does four damage to any target and then two da then it does three damage up to two other targets and uh pretty insane pretty insane stuff there so overall that's this is basically what we're trying to do is we are trying to get iron crag feet and something else into our hand so we need to draw lots of cards to make that happen so we have thrill of possibility we have merchant of the veil to help dig for cards we have early game removal to make sure that we can still deal with other stuff uh ways to kind of slow down the game with iron crag pyromancer which is is just phenomenal for everything else we're trying to do draw cards um find our iron crag find find everything else in here we also have glint horn buccaneer to help filter through stuff whenever we are discarding with thrill of possibility with merchant of veil we also get some value of just kind of extra reach to ping in for damage uh help dig for our lands if we're needing them and then maybe even and then we kind of go late game with this deck i've, I've gone late game pretty often and so we're just sometimes casting draku seth sundering stroke uh for the seven mana just without playing iron crag feet so this is a pretty uh fun deck so far i've actually been undefeated with this for like three or four games um i hope that 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 continues here because i i feel like every time a deck is just like does perfect for me in testing i take it into the gameplay and it's like well well i lost every single game so hopefully this doesn't happen this time let's go ahead and get into the gameplay see how it does and wish me luck all right up against kernugia bring it on kernugia and I love the fibble fip uh, oh, look there. Um, I don't love this, but we do have Iron Crank Feet and we have something big. So let's go ahead and keep it. We have Thrill of Possibility to dig for lands. We can drop something along the way. Play a mountain, pass the turn. We may actually... Uh, this actually comes in on turn three untapped, I believe. Because it'll count as the third mountain that we need to have. All right, Worthy Knight comes down. Let's just pass the turn. This is instant speed. I'm not sure we, we don't really have anything we want to discard at the moment. And with Sundering Stroke and uh, a couple other stuff that we have, we're fine holding off here for just a moment. Uh, we don't have Draku Seth, but Sundering Stroke is pretty good here. Okay, let's take it down to 18, pass to my turn. I think on this turn, I'm just going to Slaying Fire. Okay, we can't actually do that. That's good to know. Uh, now we have Draku Seth, so now we're just going to be digging for land. So pass the turn. Uh, next turn, we're going to Thrill Possibility, dig for a land so we can Iron Crag into Draku Seth. All right, Circle of Loyalty does come down. Yep. They're going to swing in for a bunch. And the Circle of Loyalty with the Worthy Knight makes is really powerful. All right, let's, uh, what do we drop here? It's so hard. Maybe it's just Glinthorn Buccaneer. I want to be able to hold on to some removal in the later on because they're going to be getting in for lots of damage going wide here. Uh, so let's go down Glinthorn Buccaneer. And yeah, there we go. Now we've drawn an extra Draku Seth, unfortunately. All right, well, Iron Crack Feet into Draku Seth. Pass the turn. Please don't have removal. This is the issue is white and black has the best removal against our Draku Seth. Um, but hopefully it survives for a turn. If we survive a turn, we should just straight up win. Um, even Sarkin coming down next turn won't be terrible. All right, doesn't look like they have removal yet. They're going to try to go wide. Yep, swings in. We are going to kill the Corpse Knight. Corpse Knight is our biggest fear, I think, at the moment. Let's see here. 
So attack in. I'm gonna hit here, here, and here. Down to 13. Place Sarkin and create a dragon. What know you of dragons? Come to me. Uh, I I figure I I think it's gonna be hard for them to get rid of both dragons and Sarkin. Uh, unfortunately, circle loyalty does make it difficult for us to uh, for they they can still swing in. But as long as we have two dragons and this guy, they should die. All right, Legion's end does come down. They get a swing in for two. E don't have a pump spell. Kill Sarkin. All right, they do kill Stark, and if we find Iron, Iron Crag Feet, we're so close to just doing enough. In fact, we have enough damage here now. So, Iron Crag Pyromancer. Merchant of the Veil. Uh, discard. I guess Slaying Fire would have done it as well, huh? <laughs> we're, we're going the, the roundabout way here. All right, and now we swing in with Dracuseth. And deal the four damage here. And submit. And booyah! Dude, this deck, when it when it actually gets it gets the combo off, it's really difficult for people to deal with. Um <laughs> pretty fun stuff though. Alright, dude, I love the fibble flip. So fun. <laughs> Alright, up against Sadiagraha. Bring it on Sadiagraha. Well, we have lots of draws. We can dig for our, our crank feet. Uh, we have flame sweep for some protection as well. Um, yeah, we're going to keep this. I think we need to just be discarding the lands, hoping that we're going to find more of them. But we do have to hit four lands and iron crack feet to get this Draku Seth out there. Uh, and if not that, we want to make sure that we're at least getting up to seven lands along the way. All right, now uh, we just shock. Flame sweep is looking really good against this deck. Pass the turn. Our little foxy guy. Super cute. All right, shocks our face and probably gonna use uh, light up the stage here. Scampering Scourger, can't play it. They do get the land though. All right, let's go ahead and pass the turn. Thrill of possibility, probably just discarding a land here. Uh, we have we have extras, and we'll hopefully draw enough cards to find more. We have 24 lands in the deck, so we should still be running into them along the way. Won't lie, I'm a pretty great pyromancer. <laughs> yep, create some tokens. That's fine. Let's go I ahead and discard, me. just so we don't have any more responses with everything. Well, we get more lands. Uh, and Iron Crack Feet off the top will be great. We get a hold up Flame Sweep, and life will be great. That's what we're looking for. Well, more lands is also fine, I guess. <laughs> All right, uh, Flame Sweep we may cast if they play creatures here before they attack in. Um, just these guys we're not worried about. If they don't play anything else, then we'll just throw possibilities, dig for the Iron Crack Feet. All right, Thrill of Possibilities. Discard a land. Well, there's our kind of feet and Sarkin, which is one of the best cards in this, in this, uh, against this deck. But yeah, so Drac Sarkin will come down next turn. Our kind of feet. Dracuseth. Dude, oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, I love this. Oh, man. Okay, this, this is going to be good. Right, they're looking at that like, what the crap? <laughs> uh, we still are in danger here, uh, especially if they do find um, Cavalcade of Calamity. We don't have ways of gaining life, so we have to be a little bit aggressive along the way. Yeah, we get a block one. Maybe they have to skewer the critics here. That would be really annoying. Okay, light up the stage. Torbran. Which we do get to kill. All right, Sark in the Masterless. Who are you to call me mad? 
Treat a dragon. Swing in, so dealing four damage here, here, and then there. So kill Torbran, bring Chandra down to one, pay. down to ten. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's so good. Dude, Draku Seth is insane, and be able to play it on turn four is so good. All right, these guys come down. They die to Sarkin. Go ahead and attack in, that's fine. Yeah, Sarkin is like the best thing Listen against this roar. deck. So yeah, so each of these guys do one damage to it. And opponent scoops it up, yep. Can't do much about that. And we have lethal on the next turn anyway, <laughs> but... Oh goodness, I love that. Alright, up against Inyasi, bring it on. Ina. Alright, this looks pretty good. We have Merchant of the Veil, we can dig for some we can dig for Iron Crag feet or land, so keep this. We have Glinthorn Buccaneer. Alright, mountain, pass the turn. We'll probably just discard this Sundering Stroke here. Because I actually do like the two Glintorn Buccaneers if we can keep them around. Alright, play Mountain, pass the turn. Raise the Alarm comes down, okay. Down to 18. Alright, Conclave Tribunal is going to be an issue here against this deck. We actually may want to bring out just Iron Crag Pyromancer. Um, let's see here. Let's go for a Clinton Horn Buccaneer. The, the biggest thing is I'd rather get value from Iron Crag Pyromancer the, the exact turn I play it, where we get value from Buccaneer right away. Uh, the Pyromancer we can bring down and hopefully draw a card on that turn to start doing damage. Uh, and so I'd, I'd rather go that way uh, with it. And especially if we're getting value from Buccaneer by discarding the card as well. So we'll probably just play another Glintheart Buccaneer this next turn. Uh, if you find another Merchant of the Veil, we can discard something as well, get a couple of Pingages in. Uh, Okay, gets to hit Glinthorn. Boo. Okay, Iron Crag off the top. All right. All right, play... Mountain and another Glinthorn. Same game plan. Uh, Iron Crag into drawing a card next turn is pretty good. So the Mobilize District I do really like here. At the same time, because we have Sundering Stroke in the deck, sometimes it's better just to keep um, other stuff around. Ew, that's not good. Oh, that's that's really, really not good. Okay. Okay, then. Well, hopefully they've used all of their removal and we'll be able to find other stuff. Nope, apparently not. All right, let's go Castle Embereth and Merchant of the Veil. Pass the turn. In Mara. He don't swing in. Oh my goodness. And we get the perfect removal spell. Oh, sweet. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and lose the Merchant of the Veil and just wipe the board here. I was going to try to swing in, but they have too many life linkers. They would have been able to gain four life by blocking with all of them. Uh, and that's pretty good. You know what's also really good? Playing a Draku Seth. All right, so let's tick up. Don't even need the Iron Crag feed anymore. 
And opponents keeps it up. Yes! <laughs> Dude, I love this deck so much. Oh, that's fun. All right, up against Azorium. <laughs> Guys, I'm having the hardest time spoken right today. Oh, man. All right, we have to mulligan that. No red mana. This we can keep. I mean, if we draw into the right stuff here, this is actually pretty great. Oh, we have to drop something. I guess it's Glintorn. Pass the turn. Sometimes I do like double Glinthorn Buccaneer, though, even over Iron Crag. All right, there we go. So we get some card draw. We get to dig for land and something bigger and better. Another thrill of possibility. Let's pass the turn. I may just drop off the other thrill of possibility here, or maybe try to get Iron Crag out there so we can just prolong the game a little bit even. Um... Let's go ahead and try to draw cards. Try to find something here. Let's drop. I guess we drop Glintorn Buccaneer. This is, this is a hard choice. I really don't know what we are supposed to be cutting out of this hand. Because if we don't hit anything here, then we're in so much trouble. Uh, you know, I'd actually rather have the Buccaneer, just so we can be digging more often. We don't get to the extra reach that we get from, from it normally, but this is fine. Yeah, so, Glenhorn Buccaneer. Swing on in there. Down 18, past the turn. So we're looking to draw, draw Guseth here, uh, with the Iron Kang feet. Yep, spend your removal now, please. Araska, alright, not that kind of removal. I don't think we ramp up into just Sarkin here. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to haggle, draw a card first, so we have to discard first. Um, oh, do we drop land? Yeah, I dropped the blast zone. I was hoping for another... Well, that is something big that we can play. So we do have Sundering Stroke for next turn. If they do give us a few uh, targets here. Alright, Oath of Kai kills Merchant of the Veil. Vale. Alright, give me land for Sark. And that actually is going to be the best here. As long as we win, or Drakusev. Nope. Do we just play this Sarkin instead? I think I want to hold on to the Sundering Stroke. Let's go ahead and... Hmm. I guess we just pass the turn. Pass the turn. We'll throw the possibilities, try to find something else better. Okay, Incubation Druid comes down. Another Incubation Druid comes down. All right, so now a uh, Flame Sweep is pretty great here. Everyone is See what they sacrifice. Except me. All right, there we go. So maybe waiting was the right play there. Drakuseth. Pass the turn. I mean, they probably have some of the best removal in their deck for what we're doing. If we find land next turn, though, we do get Sarkin. So I'm thinking, like, Murderous Rider may be coming down soon. If not, though, this is so sweet. <laughs> All right, Oath of Kaya hits our face. Didn't spend? All right, they didn't kill it. They don't have anything yet. They probably should have dug for an answer anyway. Don't dwell on what's about to uh, I think we are going to kill Vraska here. No creatures come out. Slaying fire also helps out a bit. Yeah, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and swing in with Drakuseth. 
at their face. Four damage here, three damage here. I'm still here. Slaying fire, kill Veraska. Back to the shadows. Down to 15, pass the turn. Garuk. Alright, gets to destroy the creature and draw a card. Dude, Garrick is so, so good. It's ridiculous. Let's see how sharp my axe is. Alright, we get Sarkin. You will feel the lick of my Pass the turn. Has arrived. We're still in this game. They do have lots of cards and lots of mana. Alright, they get to kill the dragon here. Create a bunch of wolves. Uh, if we play an Ironcrag feat, we're actually in okay shape. We can destroy the uh, Planeswalkers. Oh, Questing Beast. Okay. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Did they just find all of this stuff recently? Not even worrying about Sarkin. you. No. All right. Forget about that. I kind of want to hold on to the Sundering Stroke. That could be a way that we stay in the game. We could attack and just draw a card. We have to we discard and then draw a card. Pass the turn. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, we probably will use Thrill of Possibilities to at least discard Sundering Stroke. Going to attack in with the Wolves, I'm guessing, here. Uh, we will probably kill one. Actually, we don't want him to get big enough. Uh, if we find Iron Crag Feet, then Sundering Stroke is one of our best cards possible. No blocks. Okay, down to five. They're to create more wolves. Dude, Garrick is amazing. Honestly, I, I want to just build a deck that's just straight Garrick ramp. Garuk. Garuk, I think is how it's supposed to be pronounced. We are the Apex Predator. Happy Incubation Druid. And he can adapt it. Uh, if we find Iron Crack Feet, we actually have a shot here. Actually, we, we kind of don't because of Incubation Druid now. All right, watch Iron Crack Feet come off the top. And actually, so Chandra is another one we're looking for. So now if we can find Iron Crack Feet. All right, so we're going to swing in. Mostly, I'm just wanting to use the ability here. All right, get the discard. Discard a mountain. We, we Did we have enough mana to actually just play Chandra? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. All right, concede. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, up against Mark Stanley. Bring it on, Mark. Let's do this madness. Oh, goodness. All right, this deck is this deck is really fun. <laughs> uh, Draku Seth would be a great avatar here as well. I like Fibblethip, though. Fibblethip is fun. Uh, but, like, Draku Seth would be a really cool one. I, I like Sarkin. Uh, Sarkin has been probably my favorite so far. 
Domri just because I've always liked uh, red green. Um, I don't know why we haven't been able to draw cards yet. All right, there we go. Um, well, we have removal early game. We do have Sarkin. We're on the draw, so this is a definitely keepable hand. I like having four mana in hand. Not having any draw is a little bit bad, but I think it's still keepable. Like Because we are drawing uh, on the first turn, we can play pretty reactively. Up against red. Mm. Up against a red that's not uh, playing anything, though. That's not bad. We could be up against a, uh, a mirror match. All right, they play a mountain. And they shock our face. Seems good. All right, let up the stage coming. Hey, okay, Mark, you've got to play a little bit faster now. Clearly, you're shocking, shocking to do that, so you can just go ahead and do it. <laughs> Ooh, Cranko coming down. All right, we're going to be able to hold up some removal for that. Pass to my turn. All of the shocks. I mean, this isn't bad. This is actually a way that we can keep Sarkin alive. Uh, we're actually hoping this Krenko... The Krenko should be coming down. If they haven't found a land, then that's even better for us. But we have a great answer for the Krenko. All right, looks like he's actually timing out here. Um, let's go ahead and just play the Dwarven Mine. Because um, this isn't actually a mountain. It's going to have to come in tapped. So let's play it now. Pass the turn. We have Sarkin on turn five. Um, if we find Iron Crag Feet, there's not really a reason to play Sarkin early. And maybe, maybe there is. There's some value there. Whoa, the opponent's back. All right. He just decided to take a break for a day or two. I get stepping away from your uh, your desk or whatever every once in a while, but it's still rude. All right. Castle Embereth. Pass the turn. All right, plays Neheb. We will slay that dude with fire. Which is interesting because he's already on in like on fire. But you know, whatever. All right, bring down Sarkin. I fight with a dragon's rage. Make a dragon. Pass the turn. <laughs> Magnificent. All right, Neheb is fun. I was Neheb is actually really fun with Glinthorn Buccaneer and all of the discarding stuff, being able to uh, discard lots of things. Uh, it can be a really fun way to play. That is the only lose. issue I have with Sarkin is that he does die after creating a dragon really easily. Maybe it is better just to be taking up with him first, but there's actually there's no value in doing it that way. Um. Let's bring out Iron Craig Pyromancer. And let's just double shock this dude. Oh, I forget about that. That's fine. We can we can take four from this guy. We're mostly just not wanting to have a a blocker. That is really annoying though. Dude, that that's something we're gonna have to get used to. Uh the main reason is because we can start swinging with Mobilize District next turn if we don't have the Draco Seth come down. And opponent scoops it up. We also could swing in with the Pyromancer with uh, Castle Embreath to at least get some extra damage in. Uh, so pretty good. All right, sweet up to gold tier three, and we're probably gonna just end it here. Uh, that was a good game. All right, so Iron Crag feat with Dracuseth is amazing. Whenever you make it work, dude. Oh man, that's so fun. And I've actually been surprised. Like, I mean, obviously it is difficult to kill, but there's so many things that do kill it right now. Murderous Rider, all of the like Conclave Tribunals, all of all these things that are played very consistently. Um, overall, it still is really fun. I did have this at, in the opening, the finale as well. The reason I didn't play Finale of Promise is because the only thing we'd really want to play for lots of mana is Sundering Stroke, which it is cool to get an extra copies of it. Um, it's so, like there is some cool stuff you can do with Iron Crank Feet, Finale of Promise, and Sundering Stroke for sure. Uh, but like, so maybe you do bring one copy in for the ultimate combo, but you have to have like three extra mana. So you have to have already seven mana and then final uh, Iron Crank Feet into Finale of Promise. And I'm not sure if you're even able to cast those spells then because you can only cast one more spell that turn. So it doesn't really work. So anyway, I, I think that it's meh. Um, 
I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if you actually have to cast those spells. Do you? Uh, you may cast up to one target. Yeah, so you have to cast again. So we actually won't even be able to do it. So I don't know. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much and bye-bye.